Well, we're here in uh, Gull Lake in, uh, near Kalamazoo. And it's a beautiful morning on Saturday. We haven't caught anything yet. Just kind of getting started except myself. The lake is absolutely clear. Water temperature is about 70 degrees. There is little to no wind. Perfect Saturday to be out fishing, competing. Working on my graduate program, doctoral program. Um, most of the fishing circuits, you know, I'd be considered a little too old to fish because most of them are up to 24 or undergrad only. And what makes me really excited about this circuit is that a graduate student like myself, you know, I'm a full-time grad college student, can fish. You know, whether I can compete is a different story, but. At least I can get out here and fish where some of the major circuits, they won't let you do that. I shared that with uh, some of the directors of this tournament, you know, and um, they've kind of made the rules pretty fair and open. And so I'm really excited about that. I'm picking lakes kind of all around the state, so there's no one advantage or uh, a lot of tournaments are just Lake St. Clair based, but uh, they've got a lot going for them. The excitement. You never know what's on the end of your line. It's, it's always a guessing game. The challenge too. What we're trying here is we're trying to get some smallmouth. Fishing, fishing where the sand meets up with the seed bed here, the seaweed. Hopefully we'll get lucky, put a couple fish in the live well. I'm from Ferris State University in the welding engineering program. Uh, I'm a junior going on senior. Probably about to be a super senior. Uh, I've been bass fishing for probably since I was a freshman in high school, so you know, quite a while, eight years. Uh, this is actually my first collegiate tournament. Uh, Ferris State just got their team in October. We just started up the uh, Bass Fishing Club. So, this is the first one. Well, that's good, this is awesome. The uh, Michigan circuit is really great. Opens up a lot of opportunity that FLW, you know, made a little more difficult. But, this is great. I'm fishing for MSU today uh, with Michael Kennings. Uh, we're just on the south end of Gold Lake here, picking up some smallies and, and largies off docks and off these breaks. We fished the north end all morning. The first about two and a half hours, not one keeper, and we came down here and within an hour, hour and a half, we had our limit. Right, yeah, this morning our spots that we uh, pre-fished yesterday weren't, weren't uh, producing. Neither was the color pattern we got going. So we moved to the south end of the lake here, um, started throwing some wacky rigs and drop shotting uh, more of a shad color. And things have really turned around for us in these last two hours, hoping to start culling some more fish. Uh, hopefully some big smallmouth in here. It looks really good for that. Eric Rogoshevsky and I, he's from Western. He's uh, involved in the club over there. Uh, one day we're just, thinking is like, why drive 15 hours when we can have college tournaments here in the state of Michigan? So uh, in January, we started a website, Facebook page, Michigan College Bass Circuit. And uh, just every, every week when we have downtime from school, we would just work on it, call, ramp, schedule, um, just do sponsors, get more sponsors. And <clears throat> our sponsors have uh, graciously donate a lot of prizes. Our sponsors this year are uh, Snack Daddy. Uh, they're giving away $250 worth of gift cards. We got Camping Cruise. They're giving away prizes, uh, big prizes, oil kits. They're going to have a with the classic. They're going to do a inflatable life vest. 
and uh, Milk Run donated five lures and it, per tournament, and so did um, Old Fart Lures. So it's been uh, great that we just kind of started it from scratch, and and we have 17 boats today. So I'd say we had a first uh, good tournament today. It's a really unique opportunity for these guys. They can uh, you know, get out and enjoy something they have always enjoyed in their life. And at the same time, they're learning a lot of things as far as marketing, advertising, uh, fundraising, you know, managing a budget and so forth. And uh, you know, it's good for them all to have a pretty solid background in electronics, you know, mechanics. That way they can you know, fix any minor repairs they may have while they're out fishing. And, uh, yeah, this whole program, this Michigan College Bass Circuit, is going to be a great thing, and I think it's got a lot of potential to grow across the United States and here in the state of Michigan.